Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're still here in Dubai. With me I've got Rohan Dati. Rohan, you've just put on another great performance here. You've managed to stop the boy this time. How do you assess your performance? Do you know what? This is one of the ones I'm actually very happy with performance. Um, again, I, I said it on camera already, he's after being in with... The, t the only times he's been stopped is when, t when he jumped up to super welterweight and boxed a past Olympian and... What was the other fella? Another... Like, uh, Kazakh 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 Azerbaijan and Kazakhstan, yeah. And uh, he's not really been stopped. He's tough. He kept coming all day and I think it was the right step up for me now and I think now I'm on to the next, the next thing and I'm happy with the performance more than anything. When you say the next thing, is that a title shot? That's or is a that title. A big That's name a title. title shot. Big title, yeah. Another, a nice title, um, something I can bring back here and look, I'm making Dubai right now my home but if, again, if there's them shows that are stadium shows in the UK, I'm looking now this home show back in Ireland. Um, I think, I think if I keep performing like this, everyone's going to want to see it. Fuck it. Like, it was, it's entertaining, like, you know what I mean? I think most times I fight, it's entertaining. So, it's good. Did you have to, did you feel the pressure to go in there and put in a little performance like that or make a statement, so to speak? Um, it's not even that. It's, I, I want to show that I'm actually a, a boxer, you know what I mean? I'm in sometimes against absolutely class boxers. Like, if you look at who's fighting in two, three weeks' time, Luther Clay and uh, Chris, Congo. Chris Congo. I was yeah. over sparring the two of them over in London. I had great spars with Chris. I had a great spar. I used to spar um, Luther Clay all the time, and I'm great friends with him. And look where they are right now. And look, well, not, not the same where I am, you know what I mean? I'm, this is Caesar's Palace, this is Dubai and stuff like that, but that's the titles that we can be looking for soon. Do you think that's you're not getting these shots because you are in Dubai? No, 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 no. got a man out here? No, it's not that. I can't, I can't lie that MGK didn't offer me a title fight on this show, and I just wasn't ready. Um, I had an injury, I had a flu, I had every, you know what I mean? The start of January for the last two or three years, I don't know what happens, but I'm just not booking fights <laughs> at any time around that. I was going to headline in America in January. Um, I can't say I'm more blessed to a fighter than most other fighters to be honest I've got to progress my career um, in a good fashion and I think now I can put, align myself up with the right fights and the right timings now. What are you hoping for for the rest of this year? This time next year when I come back in January, February next year to Dubai, what are you hoping for to have around your waist or opponent wise? I, I want to, I said it, I want two or three, I said I'm going to, um, it's not fit, they're all the dice is what well. I'm kind of using, three, four fights now that are going to be 50-50 fights on a people's paper and I, I think I'm going to come out on the better on all of them. One down at 140? I'm, not in the next fight, but the fight after. I think I'm going to spend the summer somewhere uh, where I can push myself to get down to 140. I didn't actually kill myself for this fight, to be fair, to make 147. We we're going to make 145, then the guy weighed in a little bit heavier. If you look at the um, if you look at the way in, I'm wearing a heavy pair of shorts on. They look about two sizes too big for me. <laughs> but um, they put on a bit of weight for the for the things because I knew he was being in a bit heavier. So is the reason for going down one forty is the, the bigger names or why, why what's the reason behind that? Um because you'd be, you'd be the bigger man maybe as well, going in? Um yeah, look, I was in against this year, as I said, them guys for instance, Chris Congo was bigger than me at the time, Luther's a lot more filled out. I was in with Gerard Ennis at 147 who is like six foot and he's gonna be the next biggest thing in the in the world of boxing right now. So I see that 140 is where I think in a year's time, after I collect them belts, there's world level opportunities in a year's time. Right now, 147, look who has the belts. It's, exactly. it's even at 140 the belts, Josh Taylor, Ramirez. Do you not think Josh just... would go up? I think it'll go up to 147. I think Ramirez will go up to 147 because the money's in them weights right now. So if I can get into that 140, where where jo what Josh Taylor's 30, 29? No, 29, 29, 29. So I'll be around 28, 29 next year. 28 next year, 27 this year, <laughs> next month, 29 next year. And I want to be up in, in in that in that zone then, top 50 in the world, uh, ready to compete for a world title. Do you think you could? Maybe a stupid question I'm going to ask you, but you think that? But your talent, your team you've got behind you, a world title isn't. Yeah, I think. Look, I need, I needed, I needed lifestyle changes, and that, that's what I've done for this camp, really. Um, I've just made everything a lot easier. It might mean sometimes I might need to travel and stuff like that just for the sparring. Um, but then again, I heard that um, some of the MTK guys are coming over here in the next month, so it depends what happens. Well, in the next Josh Taylor's been out here twice. I mean, exactly, that's perfect. We spoke off camera with sparring something like Josh Taylor for you. Not just for Josh getting some spawn here, but for your development, spawn as a world champion like I, Josh Taylor, wouldn't it? Josh Taylor was the last, was the last not the last spar. When I went over to GB as a 17 year old, I was the number 164, and I was sparring Josh, and he was just levels above me back then. So now to be able to see, assess myself, now he's world champion, but if I can hold my own for a few rounds of sparring with him, definitely that's, <coughs> that gives me confidence. Yeah, yeah, exactly, you know what I mean? Well, Ron, I'll shake your hand, but your hand's in an ice bucket, so... Ah, that's there's just nothing wrong with your hand. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hands, I'm yeah. only fighting in a few weeks' time yeah. again, but this is this, well, this is just precautionary. Definitely. One, I well, I'll, I'll, I'll get you a fist bump. I hit hard, mate. I hit yeah. hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll keep you much longer, man. You're, you're 
Well, that guy right there, I'm not going to name names, but he wants to go out and party, so... Uh, right, you're going to have to put some sun cream on or something. Well, well, that's, that's brown, is it not? Oh, I don't know what colour we call it, mate, but... It's, it's burnt. I've burnt my It's charcoal, and yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but, hey, You'll no, see the way. difference from the very start we interviewed to the very later on. <laughs> the end of the boy, right? Well, let's just cut that there, right? I love you, Rohan. Thanks for the, uh, everything, but I'll see you tomorrow. Definitely, Good definitely. Man. Thanks so much, Rohan.